My opponent asks her supporters to recite a three-word loyalty pledge. It reads, I'm with her. I choose to recite a different pledge. My pledge reads, I'm with you, the American people. Donald Trump's health care plan and budget are a test of our capacity for outrage in American politics, a test of what we believe to be a scandal. Can we be as shocked about lies Donald Trump told in public as we are about lies his staff told in private? Uh, as far as I'm concerned, your premiums, they're going to start to come down. Will we care as much about Trump's betrayal of the poor and the sick and the disabled as we do about his betrayal of James Comey and the Israeli intelligence services? Because we should. This stuff matters. Trump told 60 Minutes before being elected. I am going to take care of everybody. I'm, I don't care if it costs me votes or not. Everybody's going to be taken care of much better than they're taken care of now. That is not true. <laughs> According to the Congressional Budget Office, the American Health Care Act, Trump's bill, would lead to 23 million fewer people with health insurance than if Trump simply left the system alone. You have to work hard to get a coverage loss that big. And, and that's not the end of the lies. Trump told the Washington Post, quote, there was a philosophy in some circles that if you can't pay for it, you don't get it. That is not going to happen with us. That is exactly what is going to happen with him. That is what the bill he is pushing does. The reason so many people lose health insurance under his plan is because they can't afford it. And under Trump care, if you can't afford it, you don't get it. Trump promised he would make sure everyone had health insurance with, quote, much lower deductibles. He does the exact opposite. The American Health Care Act removes regulations stopping insurers from offering yet higher deductibles than they do now. I want to stop on this point for a minute. What people hate about Obamacare, what Trump said is the problem with Obamacare. Deductibles are so high, you never, unless you're going to die a, a long, hard death, you never can get to use your health care. So what are they doing? They're taking the regulations to keep deductibles lower than they would otherwise be, repealing them, taking the money they give people to help them buy plans with lower deductibles, taking that money, putting it into tax cuts. And the result is pushing people into cheaper plans with much, much, much higher deductibles. That is not what he promised. The Congressional Budget Office estimates that the results are so dystopic that they expect millions of people to end up in, quote, policies that would not cover major medical risks. Again, they expect people to end up paying for stuff that isn't even health insurance. Pre-existing conditions are in the bill, and I mandated, I said it has to be. This is also not true. The crucial provision that permitted the American Health Care Act to pass the House. Let me show you what is in the MacArthur Amendment. Um, states can actually seek waivers for to get rid of the pre-existing condition rules. States can also seek yeah. waivers to yeah. get out of the essential health benefit rules. The thing that the deal was about allows states to waive the Affordable Care Act's protections for pre-existing conditions. That was the whole deal. That's why the thing passed the House. The Congressional Budget Office predicts that about a six of states would use those waivers. And in those states, less healthy individuals, including those with pre-existing or newly acquired medical conditions, would be unable to purchase comprehensive coverage with premiums close to those under current law. And they might not be able to purchase coverage at all. But it's not just a health care bill. Trump's budget also represents a breathtaking reversal on core campaign promises with the exact same result, harming the most vulnerable Americans. His budget cuts Medicaid by $1.49 trillion, and it slashes Social Security's disability insurance program by $31.4 billion. He promised not to do this. It was what made him a different kind of Republican. As recently as last year, Trump told Chuck Todd, For the wealthy, I think, frankly, it's going to go up. And you know what? It really should go up. That also was not true at all. His tax plan is a festival of cuts for the richest Americans in general and for Donald Trump in particular. Look, I know the politicians lie. I know that we've become used to that, that we sweep it under the rug, that we assume it's all in the game. Politicians exaggerate. They misdirect. They obscure. This is different. This is saying you're going to go up when you're really going to go down. Trump is doing the opposite of what he said. These are lies of complete direction. Are you going to make sure that people with preconditions are still covered? Yes. He was a Republican who was going to protect Social Security and Medicaid, cover everyone. And I'm not going to cut Social Security like every other Republican, mm -hmm. and I'm not going to cut Medicare or Medicaid. Trump ran as an economic populist. He was a Republican who was for you, for the little guy. Everybody's going to be taken care of much better than they're taken care of now. The uninsured person? Right. And raise taxes on rich people like himself. It reduces or eliminates most of the deductions and loopholes available to special interests 
and to the very rich. In other words, it's going to cost me a fortune. He lied, and this should be a political scandal of massive proportions. And the reason it should be a scandal is it's not how politics is supposed to work. To vote correctly, politicians need to tell us the truth. We need to know basically what they're going to do. He ran promising to protect the sick and the poor. He is governing in ways that will grievously harm them. We should be outraged.